Oh, those are the confession goggles. <laughs> oh God. All right. <laughs> those are my confession goggles. So if you have something that you want to share with the class or maybe get off your chest or maybe there's something really embarrassing that you want to share with us, you put those on and you feel a little less stupid. <laughs> no, you feel a little more stupid, but it like feels better to to just put those on like nobody can yeah. see it. So do you have any confessions? Oh. I didn't really prep you for that. Uh, has anything I mean, embarrassing happened to you lately or like something that you're like that is one of the most mortifying things that's ever happened to me not, not ever but like this week you know what i mean um no <laughs> i mean it's what, the ones i know <laughs> yeah yeah just kind of usually it's just use like indulging a person in you know activity go on <laughs> <laughs> what just you know you know when you're like i just should not indulge in this conversation or this gentleman and his yes. like you know and then you did and then you learned why like why you shouldn't have in the first place I around and i found out you tried to found out and it's not even that bad I mean, that like, is how you find out by around well yeah but it's just like i'm not someone that's just like they would say like silence is the best but it's like uh no i'm gonna like respond to somebody but it's like I don't know. I'm being very cryptic. I know. This is, but, but I don't know. I got to keep it. Short. But why? Why are you being cryptic? Because you don't want to say names? No, it's not about that. But it's just like, the, like I would have to like give like so much information. I've got There's time. A backstory. <laughs> it's, new, it's nuanced, you know? <laughs> have we not decided that boys are dumb? Yeah. Well, I've, I keep saying over. It's not new information. No. But it's just it constantly needs to be reconfirmed that men are not okay. They're not well. They're not okay. Thoughts and prayers to the men out there mm. in this terrible community. Yeah. The community of men. It's it's rough out there. Oh, God. Yeah, no. So... Are you on dating apps? No. Right. The only oh, yeah. time I ever did a dating app was when I was in Europe. And you found a really beautiful man. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, of course. <laughs> but once you find a beautiful man on a dating app that you really liked, don't you want to be like, well, maybe I should do this more often? No. Oh, okay. I feel like that was like, there was a time and place for that and but because i feel like in la it's like i'm gonna go on like hinge and sit at home on an app where i can i can find all that riffraff like out in the streets you know <laughs> out the streets <laughs> you can find that riffraff out the streets what are you aladdin <laughs> find riffraff out in the streets <laughs> but yeah like i don't know i just i feel like i don't need to find another outlet just to be like played mm. with you got enough of that yeah yeah i get played with enough just like without having to go through another platform <laughs> what do you think that is like i feel like a lot of single people out there feel the same way like i don't feel like it's just you if i had the answer yeah wouldn't that be nice <laughs> maybe maybe i wouldn't i don't know i don't know and i don't mean to be like cynical about it but it's just the truth it's kind of your vibe though it's cynicism yeah yeah it is it's my baseline <laughs> like it is kind of like <laughs> i actually want to know on our way here we were listening to some really good music. Yes. Where did your love for music come from? Like, where I, is, have you always been obsessed with music? For as long as I can, not for as long as I can remember, <laughs> but like, yeah, it started like in high school. I just really, it's just one of those things like where I geek out on it. Like I started sharing playlists, burning CDs mm. for friends and vice versa. And just like always have, like really connected with other people through music. Yeah. And I just always like to find new music and i don't know like that love for like especially like indie music too where like it was like less i don't mean to be like ugh, music that people hadn't heard but you know just something yeah, that wasn't like on the radio yeah. where it's like it was being a, like, a little bit overplayed where you're kind of hearing it other like everywhere it's like so the kind of like the urge and the hunger to like hear something new yeah. all the time did you cringe when you got in my car and my number one station is hits one just number <laughs> no, one because, hits. listen because i i enjoy that stuff too but yeah. like i just like i don't know i always kind of want to like find something new that's gonna make me i, I like gonna well, give you introduced me you and... introduced me today to something new and it gave me full body chills yeah. i felt something no my favorite was when you said it makes you taste color the music oh, makes you taste color i said it because i said if you listen to somebody's baby and then you listen mm. to every step you take back to back you'll taste color i don't know because like those songs like what about pretty boy that's my favorite uh, okay one. yeah i i pretty boy by the neighborhood that song will make you feel lonely if you're <laughs> and maybe you want to slow dance in the rain oh 
Oh my god, yeah. Slow tongue make out. <laughs> yes, like out of the movies. Like yeah. straight up out of the movies. Yeah, and I'm someone that like heavily romanticizes like every situation in life in general. Like do I'll, you? I like do you know what limerence is? No. Oh, it's so dangerous. <laughs> what is it? Okay. Let's say you meet somebody and all of a sudden you are just like daydreaming you're fitting them into your life yeah you're like picturing like how your you know weddings yeah, <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. It, you're going down that I do that path yeah. big time like and you know just some scenario after scenario with a person like that's limerence essentially do you think, i don't know the exact definition but i'm just kind of like explaining well, to you like a good what, word what the uh what that the definition is in like in real life i actually definitely do that but do you think that's why we get so easily disappointed in people no, no, exa- no that's exactly why yeah. you can <laughs> Because you 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 romanticize it in your head of what it you would like it to be, and when it doesn't turn out that way, you're like, you. You're like I already mapped out my whole life with you, and now <laughs> how dare you be different and, than my vision? <laughs> and you never even text me back, and I don't even know you. <laughs> that's what, but that's why that's why it's like really important to like manage expectations or just like not have them. Period with a person and I mean, not though, mm-hmm. not have expectations of somebody that you're interested in because you shouldn't. Because you don't know that person. You really don't know like what their intentions are. You don't know what why they're even dating. You don't know what, you know, you don't know what to expect from them. So not having expectations is actually really important. How many people are you not having expectations with right now? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know at this point. Like like I don't there's I got like just some pen pals and like things pen like that. Pen pals. Yeah, I know. That's cute. I like thinking of it like because that. Because I, I, every person I meet like doesn't live in LA. Yeah, you really, we were talking about this at lunch. Everyone that you find interesting doesn't live in LA. I know. What does that say? <laughs> I that feel like it's like the it universe is a cu- cute way of saying like, hey, it ain't happening in LA. GTFO. So, you know, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I mean, I, I really do need to be in LA right now. Right. So like, that's not really... job wise. You do need to be there, but it's not really an option, but I just think I, or it's the universe saying like, Hey, the person that you're meant to be with or going to be with, isn't going to be in LA. So we're yeah. going to keep putting people in front of you to like prepare you for that or to for you to know, or you're just not supposed to be with anyone period right now. So the, maybe you're just <laughs> meant to have 80 pen pals and not be with somebody right now just to figure out what you actually want fun <laughs> and why is it a musician uh yeah no, i why? get it musicians and athletes man i get it that's no, hot. no no athletes for me oh just kidding okay, I mean, i'll not, take the athletes like, you I, take well the i mean not because but just like they don't ever holler like i put it out there to the world that i like athletes oh okay. and they don't holler hmm. what does that say about me <laughs> i have a question <laughs> would you ever date somebody named tom that's such a common name so to like say no i'm like really eliminating a lot of the population well because we're we were talking about this earlier but it's so funny so some lady recognized katie at lunch today and she was like oh my god i don't know how to do a jersey accent but she (laughs) she was geeking out over you and she was like i don't even want to watch winter house because of the and i was like wait what's winter house i didn't know there was a winter house i didn't know that tom was on it and he had a whole thing about not wanting to call this girl katie well yeah he had a problem just like having a thing with her because it was just so bizarre do you ever feel a little bit sad for him (laughs) <laughs> i guess That's i don't so know his, i don't know who he is as a person like i know you yeah and i don't know him at all and i didn't watch so i don't like know what his character or how who he is but like part of me just feels like a little bit sad for him like i think he still has a crush on you i don't know i mean like that's what like my friends seem to think that and other people seem to think that and like i don't know maybe we did spend years and years together so to say like oh yeah he feels nothing right like i right for sure you know what i mean but i i mean (laughs) do i feel sad for him i want (laughs) i I want him to be happy i want i want him to like date and to move on or fight you know just whether it's serious or casual whatever yeah. you know I, I do want that for him and he seems to say over and over that he's not interested in that and he doesn't want that and so if he tr- if he really doesn't then that's fine right. but if i don't want it to be because of like me or anything like that or because right. of a name it's so silly i don't know but he the thing is is he never called me katie like he, yeah it was w- weird and i never called him tom like we always Did you call him bub too yeah and he called you bub yeah do you still call each other bub he does <laughs> Why yeah. is that cute me out? I know he does. And I'm like, and I, for a while I told him, I'm like, you can't do that because it just felt like it was something too synonymous with our whole yeah. relationship that it's like, but I, I think it's just too much of a habit for him to not like, it's just, it's like a reflex almost. I mean, I get that. I, I do forget that 
like sometimes I'm like 12 years. That is a long ass time mm-hmm. to be together. Yeah. So I get why he would still call you that or why <laughs> that's just like still comes out of his mouth. Okay, who else is in the holiday giving spirit? Giving gifts is sometimes my love language. And when you give bombas this holiday, you're giving more. So more comfort because their socks, underwear, t-shirts, and slippers are made with such absurdly soft materials that you'll want to keep a few for yourself. And more good. Socks, underwear, and t-shirts are actually the three most requested clothing item in homeless shelters. So when you buy yours from bombas, they donate another to someone who needs it. But Bombas don't just do good, they feel good. All their items are made to make you more comfortable, like their Sherpa-lined slippers. I've been wearing mine uh, around the new digs to keep my toesies nice and toasty. Plus, Bombas has ready-to-go gift boxes filled with high-quality basics that all of your loved ones will enjoy. And then my favorite part is that they come in a beautifully designed box so you don't even have to wrap. I suck at wrapping. Less work for me. I'll take it. Who doesn't love a practical and cozy holiday gift? But if your giftee doesn't absolutely love them, they're covered with 100% happiness guarantee, which means super easy returns and size exchanges. So go to bombas.com slash vine and use code vine for 20% off your first purchase. That's B-O-M-B-A-S dot com slash vine and use code vine at checkout bombas.com slash vine code vine i was doing you know q and a's on instagram to see what people want and everyone wanted to know if you watch winter house if i did is no, it I, on right now it's it's airing right oh, now okay. yeah no i've i've watched i the thing is i've watched winter house it's i think it's this is the third season i think so i have watched it yeah and of course like i've wanted to watch this because like I've, i'm curious and i'm not affected by yeah what he has going on it's and, not like you're participating in your own like misery you're like no 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 no, of course not and and i wanted to like see like i have other friends that are on the show obviously so like you know whatever and of course like if i'm as a funny thing i want to know like what specifically people are talking about so i can like at least have an informed opinion about what it is he i i knew about what was going on like in real time as well and i kind of (laughs) i love to give tom i like we like to roast each other a little bit you know and so i did give him a little shit about the name (laughs) thing i was like oh I was like, another Katie. I was like, well, I'm Katie number one. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> like, like, there was just a joke about like Tom number Tom number one and Tom number two. I'm like, well, does this mean that there's a Katie number one and a Katie number two now? And I joke about that. But like, I was never like, how dare yeah. you or mad or had an opinion. And I think a lot of people think that like, because of what happened last year with like the Raquel or Rachel, or whatever it was with like him kissing another girl that I like have issues with him. Right. Of you course. Know? But because was, that's the only narrative they know. Yeah, yeah, but I was just like, no, like, get it, I guess, yeah. you know, like, I don't, I don't know, it's just, it's, I see you, I can see you rooting for him. I am, yeah, of course I'm rooting for him, I, I want him to find, you know, happiness, yeah, wherever. that's nice. I'm happy for him, I don't, I don't, I'm, and I met her at BravoCon briefly, like, when we first got there, and she's, you know, beautiful, and, yeah. like, she works on a yacht, and, like, has, like, you know, like a, I so think she, does she work below deck? She's on below deck, yeah. Got it, okay. And so you met her and tell me about BravoCon. That was people really wanted to know how BravoCon was. Oh my God, it was wild. It's like, it's such a wild experience because I think there's like 25,000 people that come 25, to 25,000? But yeah, it's a massive, massive weekend. So explain to people, because even for people like me, what is BravoCon? It's a convention. So yeah. similar to like, think of like Comic-Con, but for like the Bravo universe. So it's all Bravo people. Yeah, so there's 165 Bravo people from different all the different shows and they have like panels you know from each like show we'll have a panel of like all the you know cast and then they'll like like group people from like different shows for panels to like have fun like games or like q a's and things like that there was like a bazaar of people were selling like their merch and then there's just like fun like really interactive things to do so it's a i mean just like a massive like convention so so for like all the fans to come and there's like Ben photo ops that we did and something about her did a thing with Lay's where they oh, like Oh I saw that. Yeah. So we'd had like a little like pop up where they did uh little chip bites <laughs> inspired by like, you know, sandwiches and it was so cute. it was so cute. That's a um, good partnership. Yeah, no, it was amazing. Lays? Lays was one of the sponsors of the entire weekend. So yeah. it was like three days of just like craziness. Fandemonium. And fandemonium. So we just gotta like meet tons of people and what is the bravo like viewer like what is your typical bravo viewer i'm constantly always surprised i mean i would say like a it's primarily female yeah you know from like 
20 to 60 even yeah. like i mean it's like very it's it spans you know um across the board i'm always like really su- surprised too when i meet some people because they're like oh always when it's like a man because it, like it'll be like a guy and he'll be like oh my wife got me into the show or my girlfriend got me to the show yeah. and i'm like really yeah. that's interesting but i don't know that's i feel like they would be kind of similar to bachelor viewers Pro- i think it sounds like it i think there's a lot of crossover yeah there. yeah it sounds i mean it makes sense yeah somebody else wanted to know has katie or anyone from vpr group heard from rachel at all how do you feel about her podcast <laughs> god um <laughs> you know i think it's kind of like why now i right. don't i don't know i mean i haven't heard from her i don't i don't think anyone has really no i think it's like girl why didn't you just come back on the show so she didn't come back on the show no oh i didn't know that she didn't come back this season and i think you know it's like you want to tell your side like i think you should have just come back this season and i think it would have gone a lot probably differently than she imagined it would have and i i understand her reasons for probably not wanting to because it was like you know she was traumatic at like a facility taking care of her mental health or whatever and like you know do you got to do what you got to do to take care of yourself and i respect anyone's decisions to do so but i think if you wanted to have your side whatever you want to call it of the story which i just don't think at this point we've kind of heard it right so i don't know what possibly it just feels like it feels very much like how would she go rogue like how how is she gonna been go rogue? rogue. Yeah, I think I you've like, been it should rogue. be like recovery from going rogue. I mean, I was telling you last night we were talking about it. Like, if you if you really want to look to somebody who turned around a pretty gnarly scandal, uh, where you were hated by like the world or looked at in a really poor light. I mean, look to like Monica Lewinsky, you know, yeah. like but I think I think she yeah. should have just come back to this season to, you know have people you know hear her out or whatever that would have looked like or right. been like because not everyone's going to listen to your podcast and also That's like true. if it's going to be like a sort of pandering thing to like have her choice of people on to listen to what she has to say to like kind of spin any type of narrative like it's just i don't know it's, i don't think she it's a should, move she should have all the people like you said who've made a comeback from like this gnarly scandal and media and all the stuff like you should interview people about how they turned it around and maybe she will i don't know i don't know that what doesn't the... sound very rogue though it sounds pretty brilliant <laughs> i know i just think it's sort of like a li- too little too late maybe and just also like i don't i don't know i just think if your plan what it seemed to be from the be- beginning was to like not come back to the show to stay out of the spotlight just to go live your a quiet life she should have stuck to that but she's totally. like going to the I heart shit yeah. back on red carpet, like just just kind of thrusting herself back into the mix of it all, and it's like what? Yeah, and like I mean, do whatever the f- you want to do, but it just is like it doesn't, it doesn't make a up. lot of sense. Yeah, to me. and like again, you can do whatever you want, but I just think like you should have just come back to the show. <laughs> Did Tom come back to the show? Is yeah. everyone else back? And then mm-hmm. oh, interesting. You'll see this season. I mean, it wasn't probably the easiest, smoothest ride for him, but he. Did it? He did it. <laughs> what? Um. When does it start airing? Somebody's probably <laughs> January. I don't have a date yet. But January? They'll be announcing it very soon. I think. Ooh, that's exciting! I'm hundred percent tuning in now. Are you are? Oh okay, yeah. Good. Thanks. <laughs> oh yeah. Now I am. Like even somebody said thoughts on Lindsay, Lynn's hub, and Johnny Bananas hanging out. Who the f- that? <laughs> um. I don't really know about them hanging out like i saw i saw that and i know Lindsay like mentioned it to me but who is she is she okay Lindsay, Lindsay's on she's on summer house oh, another okay, show okay, okay, on okay. bravo but okay. she's one of my really, like really really good friends i don't i don't really think there's much to that story i think they oh. might just be like friends that grabbed a meal or something oh. that grabbed a whole they're meal not like dating or anything. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> who's johnny bananas that name sounds familiar he to me. was on like a uh, I think like one of those like MTV yeah, shows. Yeah, that's what, yeah. Like, yeah, like, okay. I think it was like the challenge or one. Of, I don't know. I can't keep, there's like so many MTV shows, but like, like he was like on one of those shows. What do you think you're the most excited for, for the season of Vanderpump? I'm excited for people to see me, you know, from the beginning of the show, I was like with Tom. It was mm-hmm. always like, I was in a relationship and it was often bad and oftentimes really bad. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and there was good times as well. But I think kind of seeing me for the first time, like, single and not like last year i was like we're going through divorce and i was still very much like attached to tom mm-hmm. and it was like not it was, it was a really hard season i was like really emotional but this season it was just like very single i'm dating a lot i'm having fun so i'm excited for that and then also like you're gonna see like a lot more of the process of 
sandwich shop. Yeah, I want to um, know more about that. So I know you don't have a specific opening date, no. but in my brain, I'm going, how the hell are you doing this all with Dancing with the Stars, now Broadway, opening a sandwich shop? Like, that's got to be... Is the date keep getting pushed back or are you still on track for opening? Well, I mean, like, we got to We got to still open. So, yeah. I know, like, Ariana's, like, been very busy, but, you know, I'm still very much committed to, like, yeah. keeping things on track. But, you know, we've been met with a lot of red tape. Mm-hmm. You know, West Hollywood is different than Los Angeles County. They West Hollywood has, like, their own set of protocol and things that you have to, like, meet. And there's just been a lot, like... And it was a lot of people like, how hard is it to open? Like, how long does it take? It's just a sandwich shop. It doesn't matter what it is. Oh, my God. It doesn't matter what kind of... It doesn't matter what the establishment is. It doesn't matter if it was just... If we were just selling licorice. It doesn't matter. Like, we have to to meet certain standards that the health department requires us to meet. We have to have a fire department come in and cross, you know cross off those things like and the thing is sometimes like those things take time sometimes you can't just like call them up and they're like be be there in five yeah yeah like sometimes you're trying to like plan plan a time for like weeks yeah and then you have to like have those things fixed and sometimes it requires having like a contractor come in and that takes time and like it's just it's not not you think you think that if i had it my way (laughs) you would be taking this long no but also like i remember when ariana ariana and i met with consultants they said just to prepare you like it's this isn't like open and shut in like six months right. like it can take up to like 24 to 36 months Holy. from the time from the time you like con- conceptualize this whole idea like figure out like you start like your business plan very... and you want to be as like methodical and thought out and detail oriented as possible like because mm-hmm. otherwise you know it, you could fail before you open and Ariana and i we got the space this lease before we were technically like ready to really even like get to that point but the space was so prime that we couldn't let it go so like i think people are seeing also the process of something that you don't normally see you don't normally have this type of like that's true a voyeuristic sort of like view of of a business when something an idea is conceived to this point like normally you just like you're here maybe a little bit and then it's open like you're not really seeing like the entire process like this so it's you know so it, it might seem that like it is taking a lot longer. It's, you know, like when you learn that someone's pregnant, like from the moment they find out, it seems yeah. like they're pregnant for a really long time. Yes. Rather than somebody telling some, like telling the world that they're pregnant, like six months like, in. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then they're like, oh my God, you already had your baby? Yeah. It's like, well, yeah, because you found out that's like a really a way comparison. later in the process. Yeah, that's so true. When you tell someone that you're like pregnant in the moment they literally find out, yeah. like it might seem that. <laughs> yes, that's it. That actually makes a lot of sense. Your people just know that you've like had this idea. They've known from the moment you had the idea to now where yeah. it seems like it's forever when you're so like technically by what the consultants have said, like we're pretty on track. We're on schedule yeah. for opening. It's just like things take a long time and like we don't give updates because the updates change and they're kind of like not boring, but they're kind of like what's uh, yeah well today's update is that we had the fire department like no like right <laughs> sorry like we'll let you know and like of course like we were hoping that we would open this month but yeah. like because of certain boring update things that it's not happening <laughs> so and it was the holidays with the holidays everything everything drags when it's the oh, holidays yeah. too so you know what it'll and i feel like it's cool to open in the new year yeah 2024 <laughs> it's a bunch of even numbers it's funny because it we're like, good. coming 2022 and then we had to cross it out coming 2023 and i was like <laughs> well okay for, for real this time though for real this time you know what it'll open when it's open you guys i promise it's coming but now there's been like all these like weird conspiracies that it's like it we're scamming people it's a front what? just to sell merch i'm like that's a really expensive yeah that's, thing that we did just people sell- love a conspiracy theory yeah we'll take your tinfoil hats off yeah. it ain't a conspiracy theory <laughs> it's so true Support for today's episode comes from Jenny Kane, your one-stop shop for handcrafted furniture and home decor, perfect for refreshing your space this holiday season. Make any home your dream home with Jenny Kane's timeless collection. Shopping for home decor can be so stressful and very time-consuming, but Jenny Kane has the elevated style and quality that you have been looking for. So from pillows and throws to beds and nightstands, Jenny Kane is always worth the investment and is truly built to last forever. Find your forever pieces with our exclusive 15% off discount Go to jennykane.com slash home and use code VINE to get 15% off your entire order. 
Jenny Kane believes in the art of simplicity and they focus on comfort, quality, and timeless design so you can curate a space that will never go out of style. Both of my couches are full of Jenny Kane pillows and throws and my guest bedroom, a lot of Jenny Kane in there. They have everything from linen and alpaca to super soft cashmere and I just love having a cozy vibe and the ridge cable throw is perfect for cuddling up on the couch with and with the pups. So gift yourself and your loved ones the best gift of all, Jenny Kane. Our listeners, you're going to get 15% off your first order when you use code vine at jennykane.com slash home. That's 15% off your first order, J-E-N-N-I-K-A-Y-N-E dot com slash home, promo code vine. Off the Vine is brought to you by Progressive Insurance. So whether you love true crime or comedies, maybe celebrity interviews, news, or even just motivational speakers, you call the shots on what's in your podcast queue. And guess what? Now you can call the shots on your auto insurance too. Enter the Name Your Price tool from Progressive. The Name Your Price tool puts you in charge of your auto insurance by working just the way it sounds. You tell Progressive how much you want to pay for car insurance, and then they'll show you a variety of coverages that fit within your budget, giving you so many options, and that's something you're going to want to press play on. It's easy to start a quote, and you'll be able to choose the best option for you and fast. It's just one of the many ways that you can save with Progressive Insurance. So quote today at Progressive.com to try the Name Your Price tool for yourself and join the over 28 million drivers who trust Progressive. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates. Price and coverage match limited by state law. Somebody, and her name is not Caitlin, but Caitlin also wants to know is, would you ever move to Nashville? Oh. (laughs) Is that Kristen? (laughs) No, it's Um, Brent. Probably not. Mm -hmm. I like, I like coming here. Yeah. But again, like, I just, I don't know. I just, I don't know where I'll end up. I mean, that would be a very random move for you. Totally. I don't know. I, 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 I'm from Utah and I've lived in LA for 17 years. This is a very different part of like, I don't know. It would be, it would just be a different, a total like lifestyle change. I I think I'd be like in shock. (laughs) You would have culture (laughs) shock for sure. I love it here. It's so much fun to come and visit and I have like friends here. And so like, I want to, I don't want to like, I don't know. I like to be able to come and spend time. It's a fun place to spend time. I think that's how I feel about LA. I love spending time there. I love going there, but I could never move there. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Just, it is what it is. Emma Riley wants to know how she can, how you can help her with healing after a long relationship after a long-term relationship i think the best thing to do is like work on the relationship with yourself Mm -hmm. i don't want to be fall in love with yourself but like like the healing has to like really come from like your relationship with yourself Mm -hmm. because i think when people don't work on that and they they kind of go through that like sense of like transference where you transfer like yeah those all of those like things and patterns and habits from the previous relationship and don't unpack those things and like really work through them yeah they just get carried and over. learn from them you carry it into the next one and then you wonder why it's not working again yeah because i think you just have to like really kind of work on your relationship with yourself and find out like why that didn't work and it's a t- taking accountability through those things and like really just finding out like who you are re-identifying with yourself and then you'll go through like a different sort of like transformation there as well and be like wow like I am totally a different person than I was a month ago yeah and then two months and then three months and then you're just like able to really finally like move on in a way and like identify what you want and what you don't want so I think it just needs to be like sitting with yourself yeah it's, (laughs) it's deeper than just being like fall in love with yourself it's like deep it's it's feeling all the feelings yeah, yeah. And like the ones you don't want to and and the ones that you want to like push run down. from and push down yeah yeah that's true i just saw angelina jolie talking about this about how you have to like go through the hard times like not try and avoid or not try and like get around it or move to the next phase of your life like go through it and i was like oh that's a good point i'm probably like oh, just paraphrasing a lot and just glossing over the the <laughs> the, the surface of it all but i think it's it is all just working on yourself. Do you think Tom Sandoval has worked on himself? Not in the slightest. Really? Do you think he's going to be forgiven from like the fans? I don't know. I may- Maybe some will. I don't yeah. know. It's just hard because I think I- I'm just <sighs> apologies are words. I think mm-hmm. when someone's really sorry, you see that they're sorry. You see it with behavior modification. You see them changing like how they operate and it's it's one thing to say you're sorry it's one thing yeah. to prove that you're sorry right so i'm a, i'm and an he hasn't action. worked on himself at all like he stopped drinking i'm like but the, what does he that have to drinking? but what does it have to do with what you 
did and said like he still right. he does understand like why this is such a big deal like he said like on some podcast recently on uh tamara and teddy's podcast he's like yeah i guess it was like a slow news day he's like because i like literally everyone has cheated like i don't understand no, like, he didn't. like when, when you go back and say like well so and so did it so like i don't understand why like because i did it it's like when they're just as guilty it's like well you know what bro. like there's a bunch of serial killers bro. <laughs> sitting in jail but does that, yeah. does that mean murder is not right. so bad like that's really dude, bad and i don't mean to compare cheating to like, murder obviously. no but, but like i but, know what you mean but the thing is it's like yeah people were doing that like when they were like young and up when you're young you're not supposed to like be making those same stupid mistakes and choices when yeah. you're in your 40s like you're like hopefully we've learned how wrong those things are and how right. shitty that kind of behavior is by the time and how many 40s. people it affected it's not just you you know yeah like, so if you think it's not a big deal you hurt a lot of people so just the fact that you still like don't get it yeah. to me is like why i'm like you concerning. you have you got some soul searching to do pal that is yes he sure does what era would you say you're in right now oh <laughs> i love that question and i'm like damn what era am i in you can think about it what's that song i love myself and i don't need nobody else yeah air yeah no but I, but i would like some i love myself and anyone else however <laughs> it would be nice at times <laughs> however, to hold a hand <laughs> however you are not mad at a partnership era yeah that would be nice with the right person who's consistent <laughs> who matches your vision in <laughs> on your vision board in your head yeah who checks some boxes doesn't need to check all of them, the most important ones the non-negotiables and then some what are your non-negotiables my non-negotiables would be someone who is again like consistent someone who's loyal somebody I like reciprocity is like a very what is that somebody who reciprocates oh yes that's a good word god you use good words things yeah you do i like somebody who's you know honest yeah. that's a big one <laughs> clearly <laughs> yeah. loyalty i want somebody who's i'm like on the spot now like what have i said <laughs> consistency Consistent? reciprocity yeah honesty Loyal. loyalty those are you know two in the same you want a good person just, just like to the core just like good yeah would you date another bravo person probably not oh. no i <laughs> what no no okay no i just don't know okay. i want like somebody like i think somebody who like can get me on the like similar level but not the exact same level yeah. i think that would be kind of a nightmare <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it could be like would I, you if you started dating someone would you introduce them on the show like would you have them on the show see that's the thing is that i never imagined me ever being single again so i never had to think about right. like oh my god is dating and doing reality tv like that's great it's funny because i was watching the kardashians <laughs> and i was like relating so much to them <laughs> so no one ever but they're talking about <laughs> dating they're talking about dating and like the fact that like it comes like eventually it has to come up but like when you're trying to like just get to know somebody and get to like a real place and figure out like if you even like the person right but then you're also like okay well i do this thing as my job where i put like my life on a show mm -hmm. and part like and yeah dating somebody that is a big part of my life mm -hmm. and i don't want to have to like keep that so hidden in a away from things because like then you feel like you're hiding parts of your life but it's also like but i just want to like keep it, this a little bit protected until i know yes. it's a thing and i, I also I totally get that and i also don't want to put someone in that position if they're not completely comfortable with it. and i also want i just want to and know. you're probably i get the protective thing because you also like what if they're entering a world where like people don't like them and then they only see this one side of them and then they get hate on online and you've like brought them into that world <laughs> yeah no i know i just it's like you want to keep it a little sacred for yourself and for them well a little secret until i just know that like are is this gonna be something real do i like you mm -hmm. is this a thing you know before i go okay well how do you feel about filming on a television show mm -hmm. if that's a non-negotiable to them then you probably shouldn't bug me <laughs> you know why why would you even come around me right. knowing that like i'm i've been on a television show sharing my life for 10 plus years like if that's not your cup of tea, then I'm probably not for you. <laughs> a lot of people are asking how we met, which I'm like, podcast. Yeah. Yeah. This podcast and then that's it. Sometimes that's just how people in our world meet. Podcast and then nails. Podcast and nails. Because when I did your podcast, honestly, I was like, oh, are those? Well, I think I was like, did you say something about my nails? And then I said something about your nails. Yes. And then mine were press-ons. Yeah. And you're like, oh, quickies. I'm like, I know those and then you did a collab with them. Yeah. Somebody wants to know if you lurk in places like Reddit. <laughs> totally. You do? Yeah. Oh, okay. I mean, I don't, let's not call it lurk. I don't lurk. But you check it out? I often get like links to that shit. So I'll go like, look. But then 
if I it's, I don't spend too much time but if there's stuff I like don't like to see it I'll like leave. yeah the minute that it's like it's, it's becomes off-putting but like no like sometimes it's fun just to like kind of like go and like look but lurking is not really the mm, I don't like to use the word lurk because it makes it look like I'm like Ooh. lurk is funny but though. Um, lurk in places like reddit but no there's you know what there's that's how like we found out some of the the Rachel and Tom shit was on there I mean they're good Mm -hmm. reddit people can figure out anything yeah but no um, they, there's so much on there that like you can't even like see it all but like i like there's always like links that i get sent from stuff they're like haha this is funny and i'll go look and i'm like oh great what is the craziest like conspiracy or thing you've seen on reddit that's like that our sandwich shop is like a front somebody wants to know what your perfect sandwich is Ooh, <sighs> depends on like what i'm in the mood for okay yeah, i get that i'm because i always love like a great like simple sandwich like i was telling you like those those like baguette ones yes. that you can get in paris that just have like the ham, ham and, and brie mm. <sighs> yep fire i also am a sucker for just like a simple italian with a soap rosada and like a like a mixed green with like mm. a like maybe it's like a tapenade spread it's My just, just watered it, like, a, like a like a rustic kind of some kind of crunchy roll or something yeah but then i'm also like a sucker for like a, a really solid deli style with like maybe like a turkey and some sprouts and mm -hmm. a really great like mustard mm -hmm. and a nice cheese Ooh, like what kind of cheese like a gure 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 what if, how the fuck is that i don't know gure 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 <laughs> i don't even know what that thing is <laughs> But it's just like t fresh and there's a little bit of crunch. That sounds yummy. That's so yummy. I kind of want a sandwich now. <laughs> <laughs> that we just your, your lunch was not satisfying. It really wasn't. No. A lot of people think we're dating. This is hilarious. We are, everyone. <laughs> Welcome. So you hear it here first. This is the hard lunch. This is our hard lunch. Our hard <laughs> lunch was on Instagram last night. That's right. I did want to say for... That was so scary last night, the tornadoes. And I'm like so sad. Of th This is like three times now in the last seven years that I've lived here that it has done like destructive damage to the city it's wow. so sad it is so that, sad no, so for anybody just, that was yeah. affected by the tornado it my gosh crazy i mean first of all i've never experienced any type of like tornado tornado weather so like wow yeah that, um that's not i mean like we have like earthquakes gnarly. in california which are are really scary because they come out of nowhere like you are just yeah you are like what the hell's happening and we because we don't have like warnings for them so to yeah. have that kind of like anxiety of just like it's coming and you're I watching know. and you're and like, like take shelter put on your helmet now but the helmet thing i was like i'm like i, I kind of i don't know if i wish that we had those i'm kind of glad that we don't but also not having any kind of preparedness is like a little i know and in a new <laughs> house where i'm like there's a lot of glass windows so like we didn't hear the sirens or anything at your house yeah. where we were but when i went to the bathroom at jeff Ruby. Jeff Ruby's, yeah. Jeff Ruby's. I was like literally on the toilet, <laughs> and I was <laughs> wearing tights. And you know when you're wearing tights, like that's not a quick no, job. No, no, no. I was wearing the most complicated outfit you could possibly be wearing, like it's a belt for bathroom trips. with tights. Like the lights will go flash, and then the siren goes off, and then you they're hearing the voice comes on. It's like I don't know what they yeah, say. Yeah, it was like emergency emergency please evacuate evacuate immediately and i'm sitting there being like um no can do <laughs> uh, uh, sir, inching, i'm gonna need a minute inching the tights back up <laughs> one by one i'm just like uh here we go God. but but i could hear the girls going out they're like um is this for real and no i just I mean, sat and drank my espresso oh, martini uh, of course and then i go out and there's like ladies of course waiting to use the restroom because i was in there for nine hours <laughs> And then I go into the restaurant and like everyone's just like business as usual. I mean, the, you could see the lights flashing, but you couldn't hear the alarm the same, I guess. But I was like, all right, well, I know it's so scary. I guess we'll just sit here like, and eat this ice cream. <laughs> I know because I'm like, like we were all OK, but there are people that weren't OK. So maybe we could do like in the show notes could do like a website for people to donate for. Oh, yeah. To help put the community back together. It really did some damage. It's freaking scary. Went like north of here, right? Mm hmm. It was like just past here. <sighs> yeah. Well, whatever that video that you pulled up, that was bananas. It looked Johnny bananas. Really, it's catastrophic. Really scary. Yeah. Yeah. It was terrible. But the weather is okay. We're back to, well, not everybody gets to go back to normal life, but we get to go back to Sunday fun day. And we're going to go listen to some live music now. Mm -hmm. And we're going Christmas bar hopping. It's going to be right. so fun. Yeah. I'm really. Like, I got in the holiday spirit last night. 
at that bar the oh. pop-up bar we went to it was a christmas story pop-up bar ralphie's bar mm-hmm. and of course they had the leg lamp and we did jello shots we did, jello shots. <laughs> we did freaking jello shots that was hilarious okay well for anybody who is in nashville go to pop-up christmas bars because they're so cute and so fun and tell everyone where they can go follow your sandwich journey and everything else okay we can follow something about her at something about her and you probably just follow me yeah because i'll be updating eventually (laughs) hopefully sooner rather than later because i think i have some info waiting for me somewhere but just at music kills kate music kills kate (laughs) i like it (laughs) okay thank you let's go have some christmas cocktails okay i'm caitlin bristow i'll see you next tuesday see you next tuesday